fun to again for the historically significant site of Bondi. We saw the reconvening of the original Sovereign Tribal Federation. That uh, reconvening of the Federation at Bondi took place after a, a gathering and uh, morning of the spirits out at Batamadigal or Parramatta, as it's known by the British. The site of the reconvening of the Parliament was significant because it was at that site that the British orders were given for the uh, capture and beheading of Bemelway. Bemelway was our, our uh, unrelenting warrior hero who freely and proudly displayed his and all of our sovereignty when he travelled the Songwines along the east coast and ultimately gave his life fighting um, for the sovereignty that he believed in, that he held. He gave his life for these very same shores that we now take up the fight for, the same land and the same sovereignty. Bemelway is the spiritual warrior calling us. He's calling us to stand up and be the original sovereigns and to be prepared and take the fight because it's going to be the fight of our life. But it won't be a fight. It's going to be at a table with the pen and paper and there's going to be an independent judge. What we're asking for is for all the mob once and for all to stand up and just declare who we are, present our sovereignty to the Crown, make our claim and let her contest our claim. Some of the tribes who, uh, are, that are represented at uh, the table with uh, OSTF, obviously Githwal Narakbal, Dadawal, Daragal, um, Gugatha, Kurno, um, Aranta, Pinajara, Walpuri, there are a couple of groups we haven't been able to speak to yet. To any of the mobs that weren't there on Saturday, um, you, were, you were at the table in spirit. And I'd suggest that um, the, the issue of the sovereignty of the original tribes and peoples in this continent is very squarely on the table. Be aware of the fact that um, present at the ceremonies on Saturday were two of Her Majesty's admirals. Um, those admirals were there for a specific purpose and they were there to represent the Crown and to acknowledge on behalf of the Crown that the, the Crown of England accepts the fact that they, she has no jurisdiction here, never has, never will, and if she has no jurisdiction here, neither does her government. From here on in, it's a different ball game. We're not asking you to speak to us, Mr Rudd, we're telling you, and we're putting a timeline on it. Come to the table, sit down and talk to us. OSTF will continue to grow, it is to represent to the maximum effect the interests of the original sovereign tribal peoples on this continent. Where sovereignty is going to go from here is forward. The representative body for our sovereign peoples will be a, will be a group of our, our elected representatives who are put forward by us and represented by us through an organisation established by us, for us. 